Welcome back everyone, I'm Theodore Prestior, and this is Secret of Mana. Alright, so what I did is I made sure that amongst all three of my characters I have every weapon maxed out. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show off all the moves, and then we'll head to beat the game. Uh, right now we are floating around level 74, probably gonna hit 75 by the time we get to the, to the next boss. Um, so we're pretty up there. We still get hurt by some of the enemies, so we're not exactly entirely overpowered. I will say that um, when I... the first time I fought the last boss, I completely freaked out because it completely destroyed us. Or because it was me and my friend playing it. And then um, when I actually got the game myself and started playing through it, it uh, I kind of overgrinded and got to level 99 and it made the last boss kind of a joke. So hopefully at this level it's not going to be entirely a joke. Alright, let's see. What do we got? Alright, we'll start with the Dragon Dart. Why not? Alright, Dragon Dart. The higher level skills do do pretty good damage, but they take forever to charge. Here's level 7, you spin around and you attack. Level 7 is probably the best thing, uh, best charge for uh, the Javelin, simply because it allows you to do kind of a melee attack before you throw which is not something you do very often. That magic fading was just because of a defense down, because I got hit with acid rain just before coming here. Here's level 8. You throw it really far, but you also throw it very high, so a lot of times you end up throwing it over enemies. It's pretty awful, to be honest. Alright, what else we got? Great Axe. Whip and Claws. Okay. I'll do Axe next. This one's only a level seven because I don't have a uh, I don't have the eighth weapon orb. Just like uh, claws, I only have uh, level seven as well. The other weapons are at level eight, with the exception of the bow, which is level nine. So yeah, you do a little, you do a forward roll and then do a kind of a combo with the axe. We'll do Griffin Claw, which probably has the best move. Kind of stuck doing it sideways simply because I have no room. That's okay. Okay, get out of the way, you guys. I'm trying to see. There you go. Front roll, uppercut, a duke in. It's pretty neat. And then... We got level 7 and 8 whip to show off. So we'll go ahead and show that off real quick. Level 7 whip. You whip four times after doing a spin. Yeah, when I was a kid I didn't mind charging up to level 8, but now it's, I'm to find myself very impatient with the charge system in this. There you go. Yep, and you end up going up and down whenever you uh, do the level 8 as you whip. Now if you do it sideways, you'll still go open, up and down, so you can kind of do like a little strafing thing like this, which is kind of neat. Alright, so that's whip. Let's go ahead and switch to Masaru. Uh, Masaru, I believe, only has two weapons maxed out. Yeah, the Shuriken and the Dragon Buster. So let's go ahead and show off the Shuriken real quick. I believe you guys have already seen level 7 Shuriken, so I'm just going to show level 8. Here's level 8. Heck of a throw. So a little jump spin with throwing three Shurikens at a time. Now, we've already seen level 7 swords, so I'm just going to show level 8. Yeah, you just do a torpedo and spin attack. Okay, and Popoy. Popoy mastered spear. And the bow. I have to say, um, what also makes the charge system very annoying is the fact if you charge to level 8 and you miss, like, not just, like, not, like, miss the enemy physically, but the fact that they made their evade check, and so you, it counts as a miss, it's, uh, very, very annoying, which I seem to do a lot, very often with the bow. Anyway, here's level 8. Well, let's try to get into the, come on, stay out of the way! Whatever, we can do it this way. 
yeah, all it is is just shooting a bunch of arrows. The bow is actually rather awful for more than one reason. One, I kept messing with it. Two, it's very slow. And three, it t the arrows tend to get caught up in on the scenery, so your shots will just suddenly just fall short because they hit something that isn't really there. Anyway, level 8 spear. It's pretty awesome. I, I like the level 8 spear. Spin forward, and then you do a series of jabs. So there you go, that's all the weapons. Let's get going. Ah, the new, the last pallet swap with the ninja. They can do, um, stone saber. They can also do moon saber, and when they do moon saber, it's, uh, pretty dangerous. Alright, got a crit on him. Nice hit. Oh, I took care of that. Eh, might as well charge up on my way. Ah. Pallet swap with the, the final pallet swap with the knights. And I just got slept. These guys are pretty tough. Um, even at max level. Um, they know Lucid Beam. <laughs> They now lose some barrier, which makes them take uh, more hits. And they're just overall very durable. I wonder if they're vulnerable to darkness. I've never really tried. Yes, they are. Awesome. So if you use magic, they're very easy. I've actually never used magic on those knights before. I always try to physically fight them. Go ahead and heal everybody. Even though I'm probably close to leveling. Eh, I'm not gonna deal with you. Bye. I would be using the fist if I could. Um, unfortunately, I have to constantly switch the whip just to. Um, move around in this place. Luckily, Secret of Mana 2, you don't really need to worry about things like that. Hey, look, we leveled. You don't have to worry about swapping weapons or anything like that. Because your characters only use, uh, one, each of the characters only use one type of weapon. I know one of the, uh, mana games on the, uh, Game Boy Advance still used, like, weapon swapping, but it wasn't as bad. You only had to do it once, and then that was it. Kill him, please. I'm not gonna deal with him. Oh, spell broke. Goodbye. And you're just an old version. Oh, wow, you changed your self to that. Get out of there. Yeah, if these guys do Moonsaber, um, just kill them as quickly as you can with, like, probably magic or something. Because if they use Moonsaber, they can really just tear you up. Trap. There is one other uh, outcome the chest can have. It's called a uh, Shadow Zero, which I completely forgot to look up because I have no idea what Shadow Zero does. I don't think it actually does anything. It's just kind of a little goofy thing. It makes a little black guy pop out of the um, 
out of the chest, and he kind of looks around, and then he just disappears. And that's it. That's literally all it does. Dark Force spell on uh, a Terminator is probably the smartest thing I've done so far in this game. Just kill it. Thank you. We don't need too many of these because it's holy cow. Ow, really? How did the shurikens do so much damage? Holy cow. Well I Told you those ninjas can be really nasty. I didn't expect them to do that much damage though. Holy cow. the um, biker guy thing. Alright, give me one moment. Be right back. Alright, let's keep going. Dialogue. For ages I have been searching for a human with the power to conquer this world. One born in the shadow of darkness and raised in the light of mana. Dialogue is the one. I cannot wait any longer. My body has grown weak. It is time. Using his body, I will take the Mana Fortress and rule the world. 
Dalek, resist him with all your might. Erg, uh, I must hurry. This body is breaking up. Help, help me. Let me... Ay! Oh, that was easy. Dalek, snap out of it. Ugh, where am I? Wahaha! How good this body, uh, new body feels. I've grown strong. Liar, you can't just steal someone's body. My dear, I can do anything I want. Ha ha ha. Can't move. Burnham, can you hear me? It's Dialog. He's too strong. I'm finished, but I can help you. Thanatos is an ancient sorcerer who sold his heart to the underworld. Though his life force is eternal, he hasn't his own body. His life force is growing darker. He feeds on hatred and destruction. Oh, silence. I'm so sorry I won't see you again, but I have to do this. You're Masara, right? Take care of Perum. Dalek, stop it! Please, Dalek, stop it! I forbid this. Just when I was uh, to be reborn, I must I must withdraw. Give me your bodies. Guaha. And here it is. We get to fight Thanatos in his real form. He's vulnerable to light. He's got his own boss music, which is kind of nifty. Honestly, you can fight this guy without magic pretty easily. But quite frankly, I don't want to spend the time doing so. He will uh, teleport around. He can also make it so he's uh, in the ground with only his hand showing, and during that he can't be hurt. The only time you can hurt him when he's in the ground is if his head pops up. Um, his hands can also do um, status effects, like sleep and so forth. Like that. Let's go ahead and remove that. Well, I think we got the hammer. Hopefully I have enough MP. I didn't even realize I hit the MP cap. still alive, and I ran out of MP. How much more does he got? Oh, he has literally 456 HP left. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Fairy Walnut. Boy, boy, can you give me a hand? Here, use fire. It's not as strong, but it's enough to finish this fight. There we go. Battle over. Besides that, he has a few dark spells, and he also shoots, like, eye lasers and stuff. But no worries there. The seal on Dryad's mana magic is gone. Oh. Why are you running? You just ran off the the uh, mana fortress. Dialogue. Param. So after all that, Dialogue's dead. What the? Let's get out of here. Wah. What is it? Phew. I'm okay. Just dizzy. We have to get out of here now. I 
It's a mana beast. Isn't it a flamey? I guess flameys were once mana beast. Hurry, or the mana beast will ruin the world. Come on, do it. I can't. I won't hurt a mana beast. I can't. They are only trying to restore mana. And... Boy, if you use up all your mana power, you'll disappear. Oh no! Right, I can't go through with this. What do you mean, I'm not gonna kick the bucket? My world is separate from this one, it just means I won't see you again. Okay, if we don't stop the mana beast, your world is finished, right? Everything will perish, trees, animals, people. That must not happen. You have the mana sword, you must save this world, you have no choice. You made a vow to your mother, the mana tree, right? I'll be okay. Alright. You sure? Of course. Later, Perum. Alright, final boss. Take the sword. We'll cast mana magic. Then... Mana sword will appear. Alright. As mentioned, we now have access to mana magic. Both characters have access to it, though um, I'm not going to use it on Perum because Perum only has level 0 uh, Dryad. So what we do, mana magic 8. And by the way, the boss is in the background. So, oh, you only cast it on him? Oh, I have to both cast it, I guess? Fine. I'll play your game. Um... Defend. Weird. It was supposed to do something. It was supposed to do like an event type thing, but it didn't. I'm not sure why it didn't. And now he's coming. So yeah, he attacks from the background. Um, so right now we can't hit him. We can hit him with spells, but he's pretty much resistant to everything. Speaking of, let's use this. There we go. Got it. I guess you have to use Perron's magic first. See the mana sword. Alright, so next. Moon energy. Sorrow. So this is when you can attack him, and he pops up like this. Now the thing is, even though you can charge up and stuff, you're better off just attacking normally. Assuming the mana sword doesn't wear off. Cast the defense spells this time properly. Yeah, every time he comes across the screen, he's a, it counts as a hit, and he hits everybody at the same time. Luckily, our defense is pretty good, so we're not getting hit too badly. If you're under level, you can very easily take like 300 damage from that fire attack it does. How you doing? Okay, let's go ahead and get you some speed up. Why is it not triggering? 
Oh, maybe I'm supposed to use both people? Because I'm not doing any damage anymore. There we go. Yeah, you have to have the Mana Sword to do, uh, decent damage. How are we doing? So I didn't realize you're supposed to cast mana power on both with both characters to make it work. That's a little annoying, but that's okay. How are we looking? Incoming. Right now we have defense up and evasion up, so we're pretty much good. So yeah, with normal attacks, you can do like 500 damage. And whoa! Wrong colors. I mean, you can charge up and you'll end up doing like 999 damage, but you can just do 500 for, with just 100% power. That's more than enough damage. And then you can, of course, just crit a bunch of times. It's a neat little fight. But there's, he doesn't really do, the Mana Beast doesn't do much, besides cast Wall, Lucid Barrier, and then do a bunch of physical attacks. But boy. He's gone. I didn't even say goodbye. But boy. Boy, I'll never forget you. Ever. Me too. And dialogue too. But he must be strong. Mana Beast is turning into snow? And there you go. That's Secret of Mana. I have to say, I think for this LP, it's probably not the best quality compared to my other ones. Not that I ever really had high quality to begin with. Maybe just the nostalgia just didn't hit with this game. But overall, the game's pretty fun still. I mean, I, the only things that annoy me is the charge system. It's way too high, and the way that you can miss attacks so easily. That and the hit detection's in the favor of the um, the monsters, meaning they their hits usually hit before your hits will ever uh, connect, which will usually lead to you being interrupted, and then you have to recharge your attacks again, and, and then it just gets really annoying and frustrating. Um, Secret of Mana 2, which never actually came out in the U.S., but they there's long since been uh, ROMs of it, um, fixed a lot of these issues. Instead of it changed the charge system entirely, um, and it had like more characters, had character classes, had the ability to choose what's where your stats stat points go. It had a lot more customization. Um, unfortunately, it still had a bunch of issues with the hit detection, so I haven't actually beaten the game yet. And it's also a lot. It seems it feels a lot harder than the other games. So, I'll probably not play it. I mean, quite frankly, this is... I've, I've been doing three Squaresoft games at the, in, in, at the same time, so I'm probably not going to be touching any Squaresoft games anytime soon. Um, the next game's going to end up being uh, Cthulhu Saves the World, which I'll probably start the moment I finish the uh, Final Fantasy VI LP, which should be finishing up 
probably soon after this one. Uh, simply because I've been uploading two videos at a time for that one. But like I said, it's a fun game. I didn't realize it was so short, if you uh, know what you're doing. Generally, the, what makes the game long is the grinding. Because um, I did a lot of grinding off screen, mainly just weapon level ups and magic level ups. Um, it isn't too bad as far as the grinding is concerned, but I mean, like I said, with the grinding I did, it definitely kind of got me, um, a, made a lot of the fights a lot easier. I mean, heck, some of the bosses couldn't even hurt me, but that is also because I bought gear that I shouldn't have had yet. But, like I said, pretty decent game. And it was definitely a lot of fun back when I played it when I was a kid. When I was a kid. Wee chairs! But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, right now, not very many people are watching this LP, but that's okay. I mean, it'll forever be in my uh, playlist, so whoever is interested in watching this, I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. At least Fana lived through it. Hey, got fi finally got back into the village. He actually made a few other, um... Secret of Mana games as well as 1 and 2, like for the uh, Game Boy and so forth. But, they're not, I don't think they're as good. And we return the Mana Sword. about it. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll probably be not doing any other Squaresoft games anytime soon. But, um, don't worry, I'm going to be doing Cthulhu Saves the World next, and it's a pretty good game as well, so. I'm Dean Brasior, and this was Secret of Mana. See you at the next LP.